Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Steve, and today I'm going to talk about the Sony A7R Mark IV, the brand new beast from Sony. A7R Mark IV, guys. We're already on the version four of these bodies, and this time Sony made some changes to the grip, a little bit to the body. They added some dials, brand new sensor, 61 megapixel, brand new EVF, high resolution EVF, and full time IAF, even in video. So here are my thoughts on the Sony A7R Mark IV, uh, as well as some sample images I was able to capture. Let's take a look. The Sony A7R Mark IV, a 61 megapixel powerhouse. This camera is loaded with features, resolution, improvements, and it's really quite the amazing camera. I was lucky enough to be in New York to test out the camera with some friends in the camera industry. And the Sony knocked my socks off, mainly due to a few reasons. Things like full-time, real-time IAF, even in video that will track your subject's eyes and make sure the focus is locked on. A new beefier grip, a crisp high resolution EVF, and let's not forget that 61 megapixel sensor. So what Sony is doing here is basically dominating the mirrorless market. They're always staying one step ahead of the game. And this time with the Mark IV, A7R Mark IV, 61 megapixels with, with accurate blazing fast autofocus, with blazing accurate fast eye autofocus with that same eye autofocus when shooting video 15 stops of reported dynamic range in photo mode 14 stops of dynamic range in video mode this sony is also the most weather sealed body they have made to date so this one is power packed feature packed and they're putting this out there, and what will the response be from Canon and Nikon and other mirrorless camera makers? Keep in mind, this is not a review, but a first look along with many others who had this first look like Ted and Ken here. And I'm gonna talk about my thoughts as well as share these images with you. So let's take a look at the first images from the A7R Mark IV. Keep in mind, these are out of camera JPEGs. Uh, I have nothing here that will read the raw files yet as this camera is as of now unreleased. But the A7R Mark IV feels fantastic in the hand. The grip has been improved. My pinky no longer falls under that grip. These images were shot, this one here with the 24 to 70 G Master. Same with this image most of them at f2.8 um, but the sony continues the tradition of fantastic image quality uh, fast autofocus speed and now we have that full-time real-time iaf that also works with video it doesn't even do that in the a9 which is their flagship so it's pretty impressive especially when i was shooting video and i was seeing the eyes being tracked without it getting fooled. Um, that amazed me right there. This camera body also uses the Animal IAF. We have a brilliant high resolution EVF that is crisp, clean, and clear, um, as well as various upgrades to the body. You can now load your custom settings via a SD card, um, as well as never have to worry about battery because it does use as it should the same batteries as the mark III bodies which was a huge improvement over the mark ii the sony a7r mark IV is a landscape shooter's dream uh, as well as a portrait shooter's dream as well as a street shooter's dream well any shooter's dream because it's versatile and capable of any situation you can shoot sports with it you can shoot portraits here with it just as you see here this one taken with the 51.4 zeiss a brilliant lens which to me is just as good as any g master um, the camera again is brilliant the only concern i have is in very low light you may see more noise 
due to having so many megapixels crammed on the sensor. But the A7R Mark IV is available now for $3,499, available for pre-order. This is a fantastic camera. Now here I did a side-by-side -side with the Sony and the Hasselblad X1D, which is a medium format camera. Here's the Sony image, and then I'm going to put up the Hasselblad image right now. Now, I don't know how the differences will convey on a, on, on a screen where you're watching this, but on a computer screen, the differences are there, but they're subtle. The Hasselblad has a nicer fall off. It seems like a little bit richer of a file, a little bit more dynamic range, even though the Sony in photo mode has 15 stops of dynamic range and in video mode has 14 stops of dynamic range. The video on the Sony is not 10-bit, but I truly don't feel we need it here. Um, anyway, the A7R Mark IV is astounding. I found nothing to complain about. I found no faults, but again, I only used it for a couple of days. If Sony sends me a unit, I will have a full review. Uh, but so far, I'm loving what I see from the Mark IV. Sony has also announced and are releasing the BM1 microphone. This is actually a shotgun microphone and it looks like uh, a carry handle from a cage, right? That's what I thought it was when I first saw it. And I realized this is not a cage handle, but a microphone. And Sony has made this an all digital microphone for the A7R Mark IV. It snaps onto the shoe and provides an all digital path. And I was surprised by the mic because it does offer the capsules on the top, but somehow it reaches to your subject in front of you. There's three settings um, so you can pick your pattern. But here's a quick test I did with the mic along with Ted Forbes from The Art of Photography right here on YouTube. AF, baby. Now we're in shotgun. Do you have hair AF? Because that is an important thing because right now my girl's been on vacation and I am trying to outfro fro, and I'm trying to do it in shotgun mode because that's what we are in right now, which is the awesome shotgun mode on the brand new Sony mic. This better sound good, that's all I'm saying. So the problem with Tommy is that you can't hear me. I have to yell really loud because you're hearing everything in this room. I animate when I need to. So the mic is really cool. It's around 350 bucks and a great audio solution uh, where you won't have to have wires sticking out and plugging into the body. Pretty cool. If you like what I do here, if you like my video, thumbs up and subscribe. Also check out stevehuffphoto.com. Thousands of reviews there from the last 11 years. Written reviews with image samples. You can see full size, large size. So always check back stevehuffphoto.com for the latest camera reviews and camera posts and all kinds of good stuff. Love you all and I will see you next time. Bye. If you want to read more about the A7R Mark IV, there's a link in the description below to my website where I posted more thoughts and images on the A7R Mark IV. See you next time.